Hello, hello. So today is day eight of our 30 day positive mindset challenge. I'm gonna keep this morning pretty quick cause I'm actually fighting a migraine. So I'm probably gonna go back to bed after this. But hi, good morning. Hi Randy, hi Tatum. Um, so I'm just gonna get started on day eight. So first we're gonna do what we do every time, which is our sticky note, what we're grateful for. So today I'm going to put that I'm grateful for nurses and doctors because honestly they are doing a lot right now and they are working around the clock. And when I woke up this morning and had my migraine and like took my medication for it, it just made me like realize like how much they're going through and you know, they're having to do all this stuff instead of just their usual day-to-day -day life and they're having to stay at the hospitals and not come home and so I am just grateful for them and sending them good vibes and prayers and all that good stuff because they're working very hard so here's my sticky note um so your task for today is hey Carson <laughs> um going to be affirmations so I actually have an app on my phone it's called mantra it's pink and it's got like a white swirl in the center um, I can send you if you'd like it like if you message me I can send you a picture of it but what it does is each day is it notifies you you click on it and it has an affirmation so you can either do an app which I personally just find easier if you go on Pinterest or online you can print out there's different affirmations and you can just like write them you can write your own affirmations they're all in eye contact, so like, I am wonderful and am blessed with the friends around me, or I am good at relationships and work hard towards making them better. They're just all I statements. So basically what you're gonna do is, an affirmation is something that you repeat daily. So for my app, like each day is different, but I um, read it out loud and just take a moment to absorb it and then I move on with my day and just like having that little bit of like positive reinforcement each day is really nice just to like kind of keep yourself like I do this I am this way like in a positive light so affirmations is your task if you guys have any affirmations that you really like go ahead and send them to me if you have any affirmations or you need some affirmations I can send some to you so just let me know what you need. Um, we're gonna end out with our card. So. Kind of feeling this one today. So this is our card. Knowing is our theme. It says, on the journey within, knowing is a vital component. Knowing isn't believing or thinking. It's the sensation inside that you can't really explain, but you feel. You might feel it in a specific place in your body. Some might call it a gut feeling or intuition. You might get it often or have a hard time accessing it. With this card, you're invited to explore your knowing. How do you access it? Where do you feel it? Having more information about your knowing can be invaluable when there is a decision to be made. Instead of thinking it through, what would it be like to know instead? So, I think that me and Mary were talking about this and Lindsay were talking about this yesterday, but like, one of the things is like, taking the truth and then taking like what's in your head so I think like this card really um talks about you know like what you actually know and then what you kind of like put in your head and try to like convince yourself so maybe take today and like any fears you have or any like things that like you're not feeling super secure about just kind of be like okay like what are the facts I know about this topic and what am I making up so like for example like my job so right now like we don't know like exactly what's happening with disney we don't know like what's going on 
but I do know for a fact that eventually it will reopen and eventually I will have a job. So instead of being like, oh my gosh, it's going to be like this forever and like going down this dark spiral of like not having anything and being freaked out and stressing myself out that my job is never coming back. Like I know eventually I'm going to have a job again. Or maybe for some people like this is your opportunity that you know your skill sets and this is your time to actually be honest with yourself and apply for other jobs. Like, um, Haley was telling me that one of her friends, he had been working for this company for like a couple years or whatever. And he got laid off because of the virus. And he was like, I think this is the best thing that's ever happened to me because I didn't realize how miserable I was until I had been stuck at home for a couple of days. And now he's like starting to become an entrepreneur because that's like where his heart is. So maybe like knowing yourself and knowing what you love and knowing what you want to do is maybe also a good thing you know like really look at like what your life was and take the time to see like okay like was I happy with everything am I ready to go back to that or like do I want to completely flip it or do I want to move like this is the time to think about all those things and start planning it out because you got the time you can fill out a budget like make it all work our journal question for today is going to be, what are some of the obstacles that often get in your way of feeling and or listening to your knowing? What can you do right now to access your knowing? So I know for me, um, I suffer from like anxiety. So a lot of times I will do the what ifs, which are very dangerous. Like what if this is going to happen or what if that happens? But like there's no proof. It's a what if or also the good old word assume, um, assuming things that are going to happen because you are scared or because you would rather acknowledge the negative because then you're prepared for it at least than like just letting it happen. So that's kind of my thought on the knowing card, but I am now going to head out, but I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow for day nine at 1130 and keep up with your sticky notes. I'm going to have a drawing at the end of this where you will take a picture of your sticky notes on your door and tag me in it. So just let me know and I will talk with you all later. Have a good one and stay safe.